very convincing is the, the poetic walking through, uh, full of emotions. In fact, it continuously walking through different schemes. It's, it's uh, space and then corridor, again space, corridor, and yes, it's, it's a traveling through this space. Types of Spaces is a temporary pavilion constructed in a narrow alleyway of what it used to be the former tobacco factory of the city. The project restores the site to its former build condition by introducing a series of square 3x6x3x6 by by rooms, articulated the passageway's interior, and gave it a more domestic character. The pavilion was built with 30 by 30 centimeters thermoclay bricks. Because of their textile quality, gave the project a uh, additional sort of texture, creating a series of lattices that allowed light and air to come in. I think the installation is quite special uh, because of a number of factors. For me personally, I think what I like the most is how site-specific it is. It's a, an installation, it's a project that it cannot be in any other place. It takes from its site, it concludes in the chimney. The context is, this, is these walls, the context is this, the colors, the facades, everything is related to the site. It couldn't be built or repeated in an, any other site. We really wanted the project to be like you're walking in the street, like in the in the town, and suddenly you enter to this some sort of labyrinth. Basically, it's a brick that you're seeing is this same piece repeated. I don't remember how many times, but thousands of times, in these different configurations, these different lattices and patterns that it creates. The floor was covered with discarded brick chips that we found when visiting the local brick factory that we partnered with. There was an enormous amount of waste that was generated from mere production of brick manufacturing. And we decided to cover the entire floor with these brick chips. The chips not only gave material continuity to the, to the project, making users slow down while traversing the pavilion, but also added an additional sensorial quality to the whole experience. Our intention uh, regarding interaction with the visitors in the pavilion from the beginning was to be something powerful but playful at the same time. So every time you enter this room you find like different ways the brick is configured or positioned. It gives this element of surprise. We found out we won the Brick Award, uh, well, a normal day at the office. I think we won the Brick Award because, first of all, we were very lucky to find each other, to collaborate with friends, to find uh, partners, to find uh, the festival. It was like a combination of factors that allowed for this very nice project to happen. So it was like a very intense and like intimate relation to the, to the project, which was very nice. 